On to the fifth match of the day, then Whitgift versus Crypt. Whitgift, the famous rugby school, of course, plenty of appearances at major finals in sevens and fifteens competition. Crypt get us underway. So Whitgift in the yellow jerseys, Crypt in the gold and maroon hoops. Oh, look at this pace up the right-hand side. It's all a little bit lateral, though, but the power to go with it. Hands off one, hands off two. Looks for the offload, eventually finds the netball pass over the top. Whitgift here to mean business. Now the flyer at the left-hand side. The chase is on, but it'll be no good. And Whitgift are going to get us underway with a score. To make it 5-0 after a minute here on pitch RE1. Well, clinical attacking. Showed the power at the right-hand side. Also the patience to find the offload as well. Four games in, and uh, despite the fact that we are playing junior boys, there have still been more handling errors than I think any of the coaches or players would have liked. But let's put it down to the conditions. We've had a little bit of drizzle here, but it's very, very wet underfoot as Crip looked to get away. Big cover tackle, though. Try saving tackle, in fact. So we've got to play it down on the far side as we await the first scrum of the match. Scrums have been really competitive, actually. What was a really interesting part of sevens, of course, because even if you've got a solid scrum, the ball can squirt out at any angle. Scrum halves definitely need their wits about them, and we've seen some excellent scrum half plays so far throughout the competition. Some opportunist tries. Some sneaky defense, pretty much what you'd expect from anyone playing in that position at any code of this game. But Crip get the shove on, and they turn that one against the head. There was a bit of an overlap, but do they have the pace? Not this time. Hands on it from Whitgift, and that's an excellent turnover. Looking to go out the back door there. Can Crip get their hands on this? Yes, they can. All being turned over left, right, and center here. 5 0 Whitgift lead the yellow jerseys. Squirts out the back, Crip still on the ball. Being forced back by Whitgift, great energy. In defense from them. Bit of space now. Here come Crypt up over the halfway line, over the 10 metre line. Hands on it from Whitgift, and they've turned it over. Chance to turn defence into attack, back into the Crypt half. Oh, great step off the left foot. 
and round the outside stays away from the touchline and he is going to double the Whitgift lead four minutes gone and Whitgift double their lead is 10 nil now a sustained period of possession there though from crypt they'll take a little bit of confidence from that but that really was clinical from Whitgift. Not a lot of space up that blind side. But a couple of steps and an offload kept his sure footing in these damp conditions. And dabs down to make it 10 0. Back underway then, Crypt. No advantage there. So Whitgift will have the chance to build from the scrum. Over five minutes gone of this seven minute half. If you're just joining us, then this is the boys' junior competition. You've missed some great action so far, some really big wins. Youngsters really putting it in on this full size sevens pitch. The referee says play on, so Crip can turn this over, but Whitgift comes straight back. Excellent footwork in the tight position. Crip's 12 put in some defensive pressure on, but Whitgift so strong in that contact area. 10 nil here into the final minute of the first half. Space if they can get the ball there on the right hand side, just trying to free the hands there. Intelligent rugby from Whitgift. Advantage Crypt. Will they need it or will they find space up their left hand side, the near side as we look at it? Not this time, the referee is going to give them the chance to attack from the scrum instead. Final throws of this first half then. Crypt would love to get on the score sheet. Whitgift leading 10-0 as it stands. Oh, big handoff in midfield. So a call now for representatives from the team at the 11.40 kickoff. That's Dave Aglund, Sanish and High School. Penalty crypt. Whitgift giving them closer to 15 than 10 there, but what a pass into space. Time that to perfection. University College School. And the man in the leggings goes over unopposed to half the deficit. And that is the perfect way to end the half for Crypt. They half the deficit as the referee's whistle goes. Wickiff 10, Crypt 5. Well, the timing of the pass was absolute perfection. Drew the defender, offloaded off the left hand and made it as easy as he could. For the man to go in unopposed, still a bit of work to do from 50 meters. But just what Crypt needed, they trail by just five points going into the second half. Time for the second half then. Whitgift in the yellow jerseys, leading Crypt by 10 points to five. But Crypt just showing how dangerous they are with that score just before half time. Game on here in this pool Group C match, the fifth match 
of 10 in this morning early afternoon session on day one of the Roslyn Park HSBC National School Sevens. back and away then deep restart from Whitgift making Crip do it the hard way but great leg drive there making 10 meters or so off the restart ball bobbling around the halfway line first chance for Whitgift look at this pace up the left hand side he'll go in in fact, he's just toying with the defenders, eased off the gas, realized he was under a little bit of pressure. And lightning quick in those lime green boots to make it Whitgift 15, Crypt 5. Absolutely putting the hammer down at the left hand side. No catch in the man. And Whitgift get us back underway, having restored their 10 point lead. An orthodox catch on the restart there, but Crip back in possession. Whitgift very strong in that contact, so penalty advantage here for the offside. Quick gift back into the 22. Crypt getting turned inside out by this footwork. A swivel, a twist, a turn. And a casual dad down. Wick give 20, Crypt 5. Well, two quick fire tries for Whitgift in the second half, just as Crypt were looking to get a bit of a stranglehold on this game. Well, certainly to feel their way back into it. A mistake from the restart that Crypt, Crypt jump in on. Penalty there in the free possession instead. Instead, they've copped it up. But the referee making sure that Wickiff get us back and away from the place where he says so. Wickiff through the middle this time. Great strength and awareness to get the offload away. Space up the right-hand side this time. Through the cover tackle. Around two more defenders. Around three more defenders. And finally, they'll get the ball down. This has been absolutely explosive from Whitgift in the second half. Three tries in just under four second half minutes. Crypt with a lot of work to do now. It's Whitgift 25, Crypt 5. <laughs> well, the restart into space. Goes out of play, so we'll get restarted with Crypt in the rugby league style. A tap and go five meters in. 
from the touchline. Whitgift this time, so grip to have a tap and go inside their own half. Backwards, says the referee. But then changed his mind. A little bit of frustration there from Crypt. You can just see them rubbing their faces. Very important to stay positive here. They've shown what they can do, ball in hand. Scored a fantastic try at the end of the first half. Trail 25 points to five with a little over 90 seconds here. Oh, lovely shimmy off the right foot once, twice, three times. And that is an excellent score there from the scrum half. Showing his quality, three brilliant steps off the right foot to make it 30 points to five. Surely putting it beyond any doubt that Whitgift will get their Pool C campaign off to winning ways here against Crypt. <laughs> Following this match, we move to Group F. Some of our Welsh friends, Bay Baglen, will play Kevin Sison. This time the restart doesn't go 10 be a free kick on the halfway line for Crypt. Can they get anything from the remaining time here on pitch? RE1, just over 30 seconds to go, according to my watch. And of course, we go by the referees. Oh, the pass is beautifully timed again. But somehow, Whitgift come away with it. Ball bobbles round, back with Crypt. God, diving passes, you don't see many of them these days. Reminds me of the good old days of Rupert Moon for the Wales and the Scarlets with the diving passes like that. But it's been drum. turned over. A and chance for Whitgift to finish with style at the left hand side into the, the 22 and over the try line. Whitgift 35, Crypt 5. Um, experiences and um, packages available in the silent auction um, in aid of scrum. And full time, says the referee, he's seen enough five second half tries from Whitgift. They get off to winning ways full time here, 35 5. Whitgift defeat Crypt. Next up, Bay Baglen versus Kevin Sison. <laughs> No, I said it's true. I could feel the love. Can you feel it too? I could feel it all. I could feel it all. So our next game gets underway. And it's the Crypt School against Whitchurch High School. Whitchurch High School playing in the blue with possession now from right to left. And it's the Crypt who uh, got us started. And this is well, an exceptional opening run to give Whitchurch confidence and then he really goes this is quite a run taken from the restart and scoring the first try good afternoon Whitchurch High School my goodness me certainly a start with intent wasn't it sensational start Whitchurch who uh, beat Pryor Park earlier by 20 points to 10 they lost out to Monmouth 5-25 a big heavy loss at 20 past 12 on this pitch against Queggs Wakefield. They lost out to Glantaf 35 points to 5, but uh, that is a great start and will give them great confidence. In terms of the Crypt's day so far, well, they beat Leicester Grammar School 40 points to nil. They lost out to Whitgift by 35 points to 5. They were beaten by Bloomtech Comprehensive 25 points to 20. That a real close one. And they lost out to Glantaf 20 points. Uh, sorry, they beat Glantaf 35 points to 20. So, uh, arguably, the Crip School who uh, have been putting more tries down, but the Church will be happy with that start. Big tackle. Knock on, an advantage being played to the Crip School. 
Phillips are certainly trying to use the, uh, the more direct route at the moment. I think within the 15 metre channels, you need to get a bit of width on the ball. They've got some big lads out there and they get themselves on the front foot and then utilise the space. Oh, as they almost, almost got away with it down the far side. It's a big shout from uh, those watching on. Slightly quieter day on uh, day one, perhaps today. I don't know whether the uh, the showers have kept a few people away, but certainly while the sun shines tomorrow, or as the week goes on, we uh, are expecting plenty of people down here. The 2017 Osmond Park HSBC National School Sevens. Whitchurchill oh, just knocking on as the last man had possession, and the Crypt will see this one home to level things on the scoreboard. No conversions, of course, at this under 13 level. So it's all square, the Crypt 5, Whitchurch High School 5. Well, as we've seen all afternoon, and no doubt has been on the, uh, on the pitch this morning as well, turnovers proving costly. And uh, the, great for, the great news of that is the format of Roslyn Park's new format, sorry, is that no team will get knocked out for losing now. So these young men get to perform time and again. They get a minimum of five games across the course of the day, and it's, it's great to see that opportunity being presented to them little things like that there that turnover not proving too costly in terms of their experience and their opportunity to play yeah a lot more happy faces wandering around yes. the, the tournament as teams continue to get the chance to play speaking recently to john fletcher the england under 18s coach and still at that level it's not too much about putting pressure on players to decide who they're going to be and, and what skills they offer it's a chance to to put everything out on show he's talking to me about the front rows the next generation who need to be footballers need to keep the ball alive need to be knowing when to pass and keep it moving rather than you know perhaps as we might think of traditional front rows just concentrating on scrummaging at the age of 18 which uh, seems to be a more positive way of looking at the next generation and it's also the fantastic thing about tournaments like this and this is obviously the biggest uh, schools tournament in the world but it's about them having an opportunity to express the, their talents and, and seven certainly does that and, uh, and, and doesn't pigeonhole players into your you know you're generically a forward or you're generically a back it is go out play express yourself and find out what you're good at and sevens does that excellently it certainly does and the crypt taking full advantage there to get their second score which church hand in there that uh, just tried to stop it as the man came back from an offside position, but uh, the referee doesn't need to look too closely at that one as the Crypt get their second score. They lead by 10 points to five, and they will restart with the dropout. Perhaps the men in the middle don't get such uh, praise, but there's been a lot of fantastic refereeing this over the course of today, enabling play to just play on and allow them allow the kids to play and not penalising absolutely everything that goes. Allow the game to flow. Uh, and allow the players to understand and, and have more of the ball in play rather than the whistle going every five minutes. Yeah, indeed. Or 30 seconds or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the crypt offloading, but knocking on. Every decides we'll have the scrum. And the advantage wasn't forthcoming. This up an ultimate game then. Grateful to all of the sponsors who uh, have come back time and again for the HSBC National School Sevens. Akuma, one of the big names that we welcome this year, of course. As the two teams come together for this scrum. It's straight back on the Witchet side. Break from the scrum half. Ball's available. Oh, that saw that coming, didn't he? He did, yeah. He was straight round there. He knew exactly what was coming, and the defender was uh, straight on him. But now Whitchurch tried to step inside, but the tackle was accurate. Despite it doing really well at man up tackling. I was going to say, despite their first uh, nanosecond of the match, Crips uh, defence has certainly found its feet now as the game's gone. He's gone backwards, right hand fend, but Tackler was staying with him. Slips then down around the neck, and then another right handed fend close to the touchline. But referee says that's fine, it was thrown back in before his foot was on it. 
much of that keeping the ball in play there, as Chris Cracknell was mentioning a minute ago. That time, it's unequivocally taken out into touch. The referee says that will do for the first half. Is the Crypt School 10, Whitchurch High School 5. Decent enough first half with some uh, strong defending from the Crypt. The second half will get underway in just a minute. Prior Park, Leicester Grammar School. Good to hear from the likes of Panbourne College, looking to uh, watch their boys and girls playing some sevens this week. One more game left. Uh, that was Lincroft Sport. <coughs> Please from the likes of Shiplake, who uh, had that 25-5 win over Kew House School earlier. Which at school have uh, kicked off our second half, the Crip with it. But the Crypt just throwing it into the hands of Whitchurch, who had that breakaway first score from the restart and uh, haven't had an awful lot of ball and field position since. That ball has loosely come back into the hands of the Crypt. They will have the scrum, having got no advantage from the clearance. Gordano School. Great effort and attitude shown by the Year 8 rugby squad today at the Rosalind Park Sevens. Not all the results went our way, but a great experience for all. Well, we certainly hope so. Team School Macclesfield also tweeting a really tough day for their under-13s. Plenty learned and they'll be back in three years looking for redemption. Well, we certainly hope so. That's the nature of this competition. You might come in at the age of 12 or 13 and have a tough day at this level, but come back a year or two later in the uh, under-14s or at the Colts level, and you'll have the chance for redemption, perhaps. Parents thanking the Rosalind Park Sevens for a good, fun day out. Here come Whitchurch. It's going to be their second score. Well worked. Nice things up on the scoreboard. An opening score that went down is... Uh, it didn't take an awful lot to, uh, in terms of constructing the score. It was some great individual brilliance to break from the start of the game. It's been largely the crypt through that first half, certainly very physical and strong defensively, but you almost sense that they might be ahead on the scoreboard, but it is all square now, and uh, Whitchurch with the restart. This is a big physical player, and he's away. The chase is on. Not going to have it all his own way. Is he going to be brought down? Oh, and the tackle is in. He's had to go high around the shirt. Referee is giving the penalty advantage already. But then he's got over for the try. The Crypt with the score. Bit of frustration, perhaps, for Whitchurch, who had uh, just got themselves level. But then really powerful running. And the Crypt get their noses back in front. Once again, good refereeing there. I know it was a high tackle and it was around the neck, but allowing play to go on to see what happened. It wasn't dangerous, it wasn't intentional, so it's good refereeing to, been able to enable the game to flow, which is excellent for these kids in their learning and their opportunity to just keep playing the game and expressing themselves. Restart from the crypt is a little longer, trying to uh, 
Tell Whitchurch to do it all themselves. This is the man who did it from the first restart, and he's well scragged that time. Support catch was excellent. The loose pass came out of the tackle. Whitchurch with it again. It's the most solid player, really, who's uh, their try scorer or their first try scorer. The Crypt getting in there to try and maul that ball back away, but it's there for Whitchurch. They've only got two men in the clear here, but. This is a good bit of stepping, and now they might have room on the right if they want to shift it. This man is wanting to do it all himself with his step. Eventually, he's scragged and thrown to ground, so Whitchurch will try and come down this right channel. It's a man-on-man -man bit of defence. Where's he going now? There's another tackle comes in but misses him. He perhaps should have tried to get that ball away to the two men on his left side, but still going forward, Whitchurch. And as he released on the floor, there's a counter up from the crypt, and they might have ball there to make use of. Referee says, in fact, it's a penalty to the boys in gold and red. And they tap and go. Sadly, Whitchurch is getting a little bit one dimensional, trying to do it all themselves. Probably a bit of frustration creeping in, but uh, they certainly need to start playing a bit more like a team, spreading the ball, using the opportunity to offload when it comes and when they're on the front foot which they certainly haven't been short of opportunity. That's the voice of Chris Cracknell, former England Sevens captain. And of course, coach in Fiji as well over the last year. Just got a momentary pause now. There was uh, one of the Witchhead players was down getting some attention. And referee signal for a knock on, but I think uh, it may have been a little bit of back chat from one of the players because he certainly turned it into a penalty now. Mm. leading 15 points to 10 in this our penultimate game here on our main featured pitch for our live streaming coverage we're here all week great interplay by the crypt there and sh showing Rick Church what they really should be doing with the, the big lads that they're sending up the middle and then looking to offload and move the ball to space it's a great bit of build-up play unfortunately knock on just grinds it to a halt he might have just thrown it slightly forward out of that tackle but uh, yeah, knock you took the words right forward. out of my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> Said knock on slightly forward. Unfortunately, there was a few errors <laughs> yeah. there that came into play. It was a good build-up play, though. And it's good to, good to see that interplay. It's the difference in some of the things that we've seen today is that you know, spread the ball to space, keep the ball alive, the good skill set, the good basic skill set. And unfortunately, Whitchurch have sort of fallen into that one-out football, trying to let the big man do the work, or the guy that they know has got, got good feet, whereas some of the other teams that have been a little bit more astute have used everybody across the park, all seven players, and it's, it's great to see that level coming in as well. You mentioned the interplay from the Crypt a moment ago, taking the words right out of my mouth, it was lovely build-up, and uh, they've done well there physically to get over the scrum and win that against the head through the shove effectively, but uh, the loose ball has now come into the hands of this young man from Whitchurch who's got over the 10 metre line, he gets the offload up and they've got men to the left if they can use them. Oh, but it's just gone forward and uh, just lacking that little bit of execution. It will be slippery out there. It's, uh, we had a fair amount of rain earlier. That will be a little bit frustrating for Whitchurch who were trailing by that one score. Sadly, as we criticise it, they managed to, to string it all together. That was a fantastic bit of play by Whitchurch there. Much more, much more like it. Uh, unfortunately, just that final pass not going to hand. And talked about the skill set of some of these players earlier on, and the little things that you want to look for, little cues you want to look for, is pushing your hand through on the pass, and some of the offloading and some of the passes that are going astray. It's just those little basic fundamentals of the hand not being pushed through, or a target not being up from the receiver that's often causing play to break down because of just that little area of skill set. But again, being able to play five games in a day gives them opportunities to trial and work out what works for them as players. Yeah, this is, oh, it just went forward from the crypt. I wasn't quite sure whether it was a nudge or whether it was forward on the pickup, but uh, the referee decides that that'll do. Some really nice stuff from the crypt in there. It has to be said, the crypt school running out winners then, you would have to say fairly, by 15 points to 10 over Whitchurch. Whitchurch showing some lovely stuff, but just coming up short on that one. We are moving into our last game of the day then here on pitch RE1 and look forward to bringing you Fitzalan High School against Newbridge Comprehensive